What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, I am doing another 15 autumnal outfit ideas. I actually did a video like this last year for autumn and you guys really, really liked it. I also did one for spring this year, so I thought why not do it again for autumn, seeing as it is my favorite season for fashion. Just a quick heads up, in this video, you're not gonna really see much color. It's mostly neutral kind of colors, such as browns, nudes, beiges, and blacks. That's just because that's kind of what I tend to wear all the time and that's what I have a lot of in my wardrobe, so I hope you guys don't mind that. If that's not really your thing and you do for a little bit more color, I do actually have my last year's video right here in the eye as well as the description where I did actually feature a few more colorful outfits as well. But hopefully you guys will enjoy this video and get some inspiration for your outfits for autumn slash fall. If you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys wanna stick around, make sure you guys subscribe down below. But without further ado, if you guys wanna see some autumn slash fall outfit ideas, then let's get on into the video. All right guys, so starting off with the first outfit, the first item I'm gonna be putting on is a checkered plaid style blazer, which I feel like is so trendy and so autumn appropriate. I just love the color scheme. I love turning my regular blazers into almost like blazer dresses. However, I know that not all blazers are long enough for that. So a good trick to do that is to just pop on some cycling shorts underneath. This way you can turn any blazer into a blazer dress without having to flash a new one and avoid any risk. I'm adding a brown belt at the waist to kind of cinch it in and also break up the pattern a little bit. And then for the shoes, I'm going for these short suede style boots. The next accessory is totally optional. You totally don't have to wear this, but I feel like a beret just elevates any outfit. It just makes it look so much more fancy and put together. So I got this one from Pretty Little Thing, I'm pretty sure. This look is honestly giving me such Emily in Paris sort of vibes. If you haven't seen that show, you have to check it out. But honestly, I love this look. I feel like it's so autumnal, the color scheme, everything about it, I'm obsessed. Moving on to look number two, we are starting off with a white crop sort of tank top, which I feel like is such a staple in anyone's wardrobe. You can wear it so many different ways. I'm then popping over some black mum style jeans, which are super cinched in at the waist, but quite straight legged at the bottom. For warmth, we're layering up with a black faux leather jacket, which I'm obsessed with. I love wearing faux leather in the autumn. I just feel like it's such a vibe and it definitely makes you feel and look like a badass. For the shoes, I'm going with some really chunky platform kind of boots. I have been loving shoes like this. They're so trendy right now as well. And I just feel like, again, it just completes the whole outfit. It makes it look so edgy and cool. I really felt like I had to put my hair up for this outfit. It just looked like it needed an updo rather than a downdo. So that's what I'm doing. And then lastly, I'm just pairing this look with some black sunnies, which I just feel like, again, is gonna make you look so badass. I mean, in the autumn, you don't get as much sun, but there's still some sunny days. And lastly for the outfit, I just finished it off with a black handbag on a long chain. And again, because it's faux leather, it really goes nicely with the jacket as well as the shoes. I really love the faux leather elements of this whole outfit. It is kind of broken up by that white tank underneath, so it's not too black. There is something about this outfit that makes me feel so confident. I really love how it's quite masculine, but also feminine at the same time. And because there's quite a few layers, I feel like it's perfect for autumn. You're definitely not gonna get cold. Moving on to the next outfit, we are starting off with a white shirt, which I feel like most of us have in our wardrobes just laying around anyway. Then for the bottoms, I'm going for these gorgeous caramel brown leather sort of look leggings. I am then layering up with this gorgeous nude knitted vest, which I feel like is so cozy and it just honestly completes this outfit. For the shoes, I'm going with some faux suede court heels that kind of match the color of the vest. I feel like this look would actually be perfect for like an office job. I think it's so cute, but really put together at the same time. And then lastly, I'm just layering over with this really long coat that I got from Primark. I feel like the color schemes of this outfit are just superior. I love it so much. It screams autumn. And then keeping in theme with the whole color scheme of this outfit, I just went for a brown bag. I feel like this whole outfit is literally 50 shades of brown, but I am totally here for it. I just love how put together it looks. It looks really fancy and classy, but you didn't compromise on warmth and comfort, which is such a big thing for me. 
Now onto the next. For this outfit, I'm starting off with a simple black bodycon ripped kind of dress as like the base of the outfit. I'm then going over the top with a simple black blazer. My one is a little bit creased, so please excuse that. But this blazer is super boxy and really oversized. So I'm kind of cinching it in with a belt in the middle. I'm popping on a simple gold necklace to kind of, you know, accessorize a little bit. And then I'm going in with the same black boots, which I just feel like, again, is so a big mood. I love this whole outfit. I just paired it with a black quilted bag from Pretty Little Thing. I feel like this outfit literally said, if it's not black, put it back. I am so in love with it. And I feel like most people could recreate this with things they probably already own, which is perfect. This next outfit is me being a CEO of wearing a blazer slash jacket as a dress. <laughs> Don't mind me. I know this looks really oversized, but you will see the vision in a sec. Chunky nude boots have again been so, so trendy. And I love this color combo of like the dark brown and like the milky cream kind of color. Argyle pattern is another super trendy pattern right now. So I just paired it with this really long Argyle scarf. And I feel like this is a whole outfit on its own. Obviously you could put something underneath this blazer jacket, but I felt like it just didn't really need it. I think this outfit is perfect for like pumpkin patch days. I just think it's so cute. And then lastly, I just paired it with a cream bag to go with the shoes. Moving on to the next outfit, I'm starting off with a gray high neck body that I got from Primark. I'm then layering up with another gray blazer. Now this blazer is again a little bit too short to just wear on its own. So I'm just popping on some black tights from Pretty Little Thing and then just finishing off with little black shorts underneath. For the shoes, I'm going for some really long chunky boots, which I feel like just finish off the outfit so well. And then lastly, I'm popping on a black belt to kind of cinch the blazer in at the waist. And then the last accessory is of course a bag. So I went for this black saddle style bag from Pretty Little Thing and this is the whole outfit. I love this so much. It's definitely very different to what I would usually wear, but I really love the gray and black combo. I think it's really, really cute. For the next outfit, we're starting off with a little white crop top. I feel like, again, this is a staple that everyone should have in their wardrobe. For the bottoms, I'm going for these light beige sort of colored corduroy trousers, which are super relaxed. I love them. And then over the top, I'm just going with a really nice checkered brown shirt, which is super oversized. It kind of gives you that like boyfriend shirt kind of vibes. And then for the shoes, I just went for some simple white trainers, which again, I feel like most people own. And then this is the outfit. I feel like it's super relaxed. It's very casual, very everyday. If you want a pair of bag, you totally can. I went for this brown saddle bag, which is the same as the previous bag, but in brown. I can see myself wearing this sort of outfit, just running around town, doing some errands. It's super casual, but still really put together. Now, this wouldn't be an Autumn Outfits Ideas video without a chunky jumper. This is actually a men's jumper from the ASOS men's section, but I mean, clothing has no gender, so you can wear whatever you like. You already know, I'm just popping on some cycling shorts underneath to kind of make it look a little bit more like a dress, but still acceptable to wear out. And then for the shoes, I'm going for these really gorgeous sock boots. And then lastly, I'm just finishing it off with a brown bag. And that is the outfit. Again, super, super casual, perfect for slightly warmer days of autumn where you want your legs out and I just love it. I think it's so basic but really cute. If you're a fan of an all black outfit, you're probably gonna love this next one. So I'm starting off with a mini bodycon black dress with a long sleeve. I'm then going in straight with some tall black boots. Over the top, I'm layering up with a long black faux leather coat. I feel like not enough people hype these up. These are so cute on and they are definitely really, really warm as well. For accessories, I'm adding a Vivian Westwood pearl necklace just to add a little pop of something against the black dress. And then I'm also going with a Vivian Westwood bag. I can't remember what style of bag this is, but I just love this whole outfit. I think it's so cute and just, again, really, really badass. This whole outfit is giving me such a Pinterest girl aesthetic. I love it. The next outfit is another slightly more casual one, which I mean, I love to see because I love comfy clothes all year round. So the base of the outfit is this gorgeous nude hoodie dress, which is so cozy and so oversized. Over the top, I'm going in with this felt style jacket. That's the only way I can describe it. Like the fabric feels like felt, but in the best way possible. So for the shoes and also the bag, I went for this really nice cream color that corresponds with the dress. I always love adding colors that all kind of go together 
together cohesively in an outfit and then I'm actually flipping my head over to put my hair in a bun because I feel like with a hoodie it's always really awkward to have your head down because you don't really know where to put it so that's why I put my hair up but yeah this is the outfit I love how cozy the vibe is but it's still very autumnal for the next outfit, I'm starting off with a black high neck body, which I love all the cutouts on. I think it's so cute. For the trousers, I'm then going in with some just high waisted jeans, but they do have a little bit of sass because they say savage on the front. Next up for the shoes, I wanted something a little bit different than just a chunky like trainer or boot. So I actually went for these chunky loafers instead and I love the vibe of them. And then lastly, with the bag, I just went for another black bag to kind of tie the whole, you know, black ass aspect of the outfit together and that is the complete outfit I honestly love it so much I mean you could totally add a coat over the top but I didn't really want to spoil the top half so that's why I didn't go for a coat Moving on to the next outfit, we're starting off with a brown slinky body as the base of the outfit. Then for the bottoms, I'm wearing these super relaxed kind of like yoga pants, but they are so cute. They look really, really nice on. I'm then layering over the top with another checkered shirt. Obviously, this one is a lot darker than the previous one to kind of go with the dark brown color scheme. And then for the shoes, I just went for some simple white trainers. Lastly, for the bag, I have a faux croc brown bag, which I feel like goes so well with this whole vibe. I love the color scheme. I just love brown. Like for autumn, it's just such a good color. Now for my next autumn outfit idea, I'm starting off with a super chunky oversized jumper dress in this really nice beige light color. Over the top, I'm going in with a dark brown shacket, which is actually the same shacket from earlier, but just in a different color. For the shoes, I'm going in with those chunky cream boots. I just love them for autumn. And then the bag is also this really nice light cream. So all the colors kind of match and just go together so cohesively. And that is the outfit. I love it so much. I just think it's so simple, but really effective. I think it looks cute and it's still really cozy. For the next one, I'm starting off with a high neck brown sleeveless crop top and I'm pairing it with these really nice faux leather nude kind of trousers. I love them so much. I think they're so flattering on. I love adding black accents to like an all brown slash nude outfit just to kind of give it a bit of contrast. So I went for these black boots and then I've also paired it with this cropped black faux leather jacket. I think this is a really interesting color combo because it's still keeping in with my neutral kind of color scheme whilst adding a little bit of edge and sass to it with the black. I then just finished off the outfit with a mini black bag that's the same pattern as the jacket, which is that faux crocodile kind of pattern. And this is the full outfit. And now for the very last outfit, the 15 outfit idea. We are starting off with some faux leather trousers in this really gorgeous chocolate color. I'm then pairing it with this ribbed crop top for the top half. And then over the top, we're wearing the very trendy pattern, the Argyle granddad sort of jumper. I actually got this from Shein in a haul a few videos ago. This cardigan is super thick and really, really cozy. So it's perfect for layering up in the autumn. And then for the shoes, I just went for some basic white trainers again. And that is the finished outfit. I think it's so cozy, still really cute, and it's the perfect everyday kind of outfit for autumn. All right, guys, so that is everything for today's video. Honestly, this video took so freaking long to film, but I hope you guys enjoy. I hope it was worth it. Like I said, I do actually have two more videos like this on my channel already, so I will link them in the eye as well as the description. By the way, I do realize that not everyone in the world right now is experiencing a cold autumn slash, you know, heading towards winter. So if that is the case and you do live in a hotter country, like I said, I do also have the 15 spring outfit ideas in another video, which I'll link in the eye. So make sure you guys check that out as well. Well, thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.